and low well wishers let's set on a unique journey today today we are going to board the poetry express train where the clatter of words will take us through a scenic tour through the life of a railway clerk yes i'm talking about the poem railway clerk by nisim ezekiel so grab your virtual seats and let's begin the last and the most memorable train journey that i remember is the journey by the vande bharat express i had boarded that train to reach a station called njp and from there i visited the beautiful mountains and indeed the journey was such a comfortable one and we really got to taste the delicious food and we went laughing and singing throughout the journey and i didn't even realize that by the time we were enjoying we had already reached the destination apart from that i have also traveled by other trains but how often do we stop to think about the logistics the background work that goes around in you know making us have a comfortable journey before we begin understanding the poem let me tell you who's a railway clerk a railway clerk is an employee or a person who works for the railway system a railway clerk typically conducts responsibilities like ticketing handling the reservations record keeping and other such duties associated with the operation of the railways he plays a crucial role in ensuring the smooth functioning of the various processes within the railway system which is vital for maintaining an organized service now you will see that you know whether it is the catering services the ticketing services everything requires good management the fact that we enjoy the recent vande bharat train journey experiences why because it is a well managed kind of a railway system a railway train that is making journeys so that efficiency is taken care of by a railway clerk so we see don't you see how important a person a railway clerk is and let's see whether he is given this kind of appreciation or not in the poem that we are going to do today coming back to nisim ezekiel he was an indian jewish poet a playwright editor and an art critic he was a prominent figure in the post colonial indian literature and is known for his wit humor and observations on the human condition and that is exactly what we are going to see in our poem today that what are the complex scenarios of urban life and how ordinary individuals face challenges in the rapidly changing society the poem the railway clerk is a reflection on the mundane the boring routine life of an average individual more particularly of a railway clerk the poem is going to talk about the monotony and the frustration faced by this railway clerk you know we all get tired and busy of the daily routine of our life so nisim ezekiel has been observant enough to put it in the way of a poem that is what are the problems the cause of irritation for a railway clerk and also it highlights how we often forget to appreciate such people for their efforts and therefore these people end up being in this kind of a situation let us now decode the line by line meaning of the poem every day there's so much work and i don't get overtime now the word overtime means that when you work beyond your time suppose your duty hours are from 8 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the evening now if you work till 6 o'clock or you have not managed to finish the work and you're sitting back and doing your work so the time span after your duty hours that you're working is known as you're working overtime and many offices they pay you for this overtime work that you do so that it becomes a rewarding and happy experience for that person because he's sitting away from his family and doing the work so the opening lines of the poem set the tone for the entire poem depicting the repetitive nature of the protagonist or the railway clerk's work and how there is absence of any kind of extra incentive compensation or a reward or even recognition for his efforts he is working extra he is working overtime 
and yet there is no kind of reward that is being given to him so naturally anyone is going to get irritated My wife is always asking for more money my job is such no one is giving bribe so here the speaker highlights the financial pressure which is imposed on him by his family emphasizing how there is a constant demand back at home for more money and with the evolving lifestyles in today's scenario we can well understand how much money is important as well because things are becoming expensive with each passing day so naturally there's a financial pressure from home but organizations do not understand this problem even one of the schools where i would also work that was the same problem they do not understand it's not just schools companies offices they don't want to pay you too much and they'll get a lot of work done from you and it becomes it takes a toll on the health of a person so the mention of no one giving bribes suggests that there are lack of opportunities for any kind of corruption that is see one way it is good that no one gives you a bribe so there is no shortcut to financial gain in his job whereas perhaps he must have seen in other cases where people are getting more money because they are getting bribes but in his case he is not getting any kind of bribe bribe is that extra money that people are ready to pay you for a quick service or an extra service or a permission that you take for that particular you know service that you're getting done so that opportunity is also not available for him so whatever he gets as a railway clerk is his only source of income and that is clearly not enough for his family I wish I was a bird so the speaker over here expresses a desire for freedom and escape from the routine of his daily life the metaphor or the example of a bird over here suggests how he wants to go ahead with a carefree existence he is not you know ready to take up any kind of responsibilities he is feeling extremely tired he wants a break from the responsibilities and the daily routine of his life that is why he has a wish a desire to get freedom which is similar to a bird i'm doing my duty but who is appreciating nobody i'm telling you so this stanza again highlights the protagonist sense of irritation and frustration and the feeling of being unappreciated he's saying that he's doing his duty whatever tasks he has been entrusted with he is doing it but no one is there to thank him to appreciate him despite him doing his duty well he is diligently performing his duties but he sees that there is a lack of acknowledgement or gratitude from others who are watching over him once a week i see film and then i am happy but not otherwise so the speaker says that he tends to find happiness and peace in simple pleasures of life that is even by watching a film once a week he feels relaxed and happy so it shows that how moments of leisure for him provide him temporary escape from the monotony and the dissatisfaction of his daily life but imagine he is getting to watch a film or get leisure time just once a week so how much overtime he must be working in a particular day and also the days of the week also i have good friends that is my only consolation consolation means something that makes him feel happy some kind of a support system so the reference to having good friends serves the railway clerk with a source of peace in the absence of recognition at work and the financial burdens at home it is friendship which becomes a comforting factor in his life it becomes his source of emotional support his support system his strength because even if his family is not being able to understand him his work life is also not balanced it is his friends who are being able to provide him with that support system which is helping him 
to keep on going and not stop despite the terrible ir- irritation frustration that he is feeling i can totally relate with this railway clerk because we often face burnouts in our life as well and we don't understand what to do sometimes you will see it's your parents at other times you will see it is your friends who come to rescue you who take you out of that terrible dark kind of a situation that you get stuck in So on one level we see the poem explores the monotony and frustration which is experienced by the railway clerk in his daily life secondly we see the theme of unappreciated labor he is working so hard yet his efforts go unnoticed and unacknowledged thirdly we see there is a recurring theme of the railway clerk's desire for escape remember he is giving the example of how he wishes to be a bird so it shows how he is yearning he is craving for freedom and a break from the daily routine of his life so we see that the railway clerk offers a portrayal of the ordinary struggles faced by individuals in their daily lives exploring the theme of monotony labor and the yearning for a fulfilling existence the poet's use of relatable language and images or examples help us to empathize with the experience of this la- railway clerk So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.